What's up everyone? Welcome back to another review and this time we're taking a look at Hell or High Water, the neo western crime movie starring an all-star cast that includes Jeff Bridges, Chris Pine, and Ben Foster. The overall plot of this movie is simple. These two brothers, Tanner and Toby, played by Foster and Pine respectively, are robbing banks in order to save their family ranch. While doing so, they're being hunted down by these two Texas Rangers played by Jeff Bridges and Gil Birmingham. Okay, that is the overall plot of Hell or High Water. Let's just get through this review as fast as possible. Overall, I liked this movie. I think Hell or High Water is a fantastic Western type of Western movie set in a, in a contempt set in contemporary times. This movie has the look and feel of something in the, along the lines of the Tombstone or Unforgiven, only with a modern day spin on it. And I gotta give writer Tyler Sheridan a lot of credit for this film like he really did a very good job at <clears throat> pretty much at doing a modern day westing in contemporary times from the overall look and feel of this movie it has that modern day twist but it also feels something that's very old school something that you would see in like i said in either tombstone or unforgiven so i gotta give writer tyler sheridan a lot of credit for that and i also gotta give the director dave mckenzie a lot of credit for creating this old school uh, type of atmosphere for this movie. So from a writing and, di and directorial standpoint, I think this movie is really well done. The writing is for the most part very strong and very on point. I like the characters. Uh, the direction of this movie I thought was fantastic, was really, really damn good. Production values and cinematography, this movie looks beautiful. It's got that very grounded, gritty, realistic look and feel to it. Uh, great cinematography and very good direction by David McKenzie. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about the actors and the acting. Uh, everyone in this movie brings their A-game. Chris Pine and Ben Foster, who play these two brothers, Toby and Tanner, I thought were fantastic in this movie. Foster and Pine have very good on-screen chemistry. And you can clearly tell that these two guys, they have a real, that have a brotherly bond on screen. And you can tell that even though they have opposing ideologies, there's still a love for one another. Uh, like Chris Pine's character of Toby, he's the more reserved, he's the more reserved calculating one, while his brother Tanner is the wild card. And, and is somebody who will do things in a, it's either me or him situation. And you can see throughout the film, these opposing ideologies from these two brothers, you know, you know, Toby wants to be more low key, while Tanner is more of the wild gunman in a way. Like Tanner has the has the feel of that renegade outlaw that you would see in any type of western, and Toby and Toby is the exact opposite of that. But <clears throat> despite their personality clashes, you do get those moments of these two having a brotherly bond, and you really do get the sense that they have a genuine love for one another. And like I said, Pine and Foster do a fantastic job at bringing these characters to life. Pine does a really good job at, at making his character Toby very well likable. Uh, even Ben Foster's character can be likable in a lot of areas as well, despite being an asshole the majority of the movie. But when he does have those tender moments, he does come across as likable and you almost forget that these two are bandit bank robbers. And I I like that. That's the, that's the testament to the two perform to two very good actors putting on two very good performances. Uh, on the flip side, you have Jeff Bridges and Gil Birmingham, who play these two Texas Rangers, Hamilton and Parker. Um, I liked Jeff Bridges in this movie as the Texas Ranger, as a Texas Ranger who is stopping at nothing to get these two bandits. I like the bantering and camaraderie he has with his partner, uh, Parker. Uh, I thought these two played really well off for one another. You're basically watching these two old school actors just bounce off dialogue with one another. And you really get the sense that these two have been friends and partners for a very long time from the way they speak to one another, from the friendly <laughs> racial bantering they, uh, they, they have a back and forth with. Like you can tell that these two have a genuine, uh, have a genuine friendship and, a, and also another, a mutual understanding of one another. And when you get to the end of the movie, where Parker is pretty much shot in the head, like you sense the anguish that Hamilton goes through by seeing his longtime friend and partner just die before his eyes. And you see, and we see what happened. And of course, we see Hamilton get the kill shot on 
on uh, Tanner at, at the movie's conclusion. So I thought all that stuff was really well handled. Um, <clears throat> if I were to have some criticism for this movie, um, the pacing can be a little uh, could be a little slow in some areas. Like this is a this movie goes about ninety eight minutes, and you do get some slow move some slow uh, some slow moments here and there. But it does more to develop the characters and to make us like the characters more. Like, this is not an action-heavy movie, though I think a lot of the action is really well handled. Like, when the brothers are robbing banks, there's a good amount of tension and suspense to it. Uh, the scenes where the Texas Rangers are hunting down the brothers, especially the third act, I thought it was really well handled and very well done. And I just really like the overall epilogue of this movie where Hamilton and Toby have a conversation where Hamilton pretty much says that Toby was the mastermind behind the whole thing. And we also get the revelation that <clears throat> Toby, he secretly had a lot of money that he, and he, and his motivations for doing what he was doing was so that his family wouldn't face poverty like he, like he did. <clears throat> so Toby had like very clear, you know, grounded motivations. Like Toby was trying to do, was trying to do a bad thing for a good thing. Well, Tanner, he just liked to do things because he genuinely loved to do things like Toby. You know, Tanner generally loved to rob banks. You, he even mentions that he got a, a thrill out of killing people if necessary. And that further, you know, that further, that further expands upon the different ideologies between the two brothers, which is what, which is what I really, really liked. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot of bad to say about Hell or High Water. I thought this was a fantastic movie. I like the vibe. I like the cinematography. I enjoy, I love the acting. I think the writing is really, really strong. The characters are very, very, are very well written and well thought out. And with all that being said, even though I think the movie does have sluggish pacing here and there, this movie to me gets a solid 9 out of 10. I highly recommend Hell or High Water. So yeah, those are my quick thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment section down below, like the video and subscribe, and I'll check you back next time for more.